Now, for the final category, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be a blast, uh, because uh, when you ask uh, them where are you from, their answer is it's complicated. I don't know why Lithuanian founders always have to make it complicated. But we're moving on to FinTech and Evo State. Hi. My name is Gosas. I'm CEO of Evo Estate. We are a real estate investments aggregator. 500 real estate investments. That's the number I and my co-founder Odris have made in the last six years using crowdfunding. Until one day, I get a call from Odris who says, listen Gustas, we are not earning as much as we could just because many platforms restrict foreigners to invest. And multiple account management across few platforms can be really time consuming. And this was the time when we decided to create Evo Estate. Evo Estate is real estate investments aggregator where with one account you can invest in 18 platforms deal flow. Our clients have already invested in 11 countries, diversifying their portfolios with rent, loan, and equity investments. The aggregator model for real estate remains unique. And we make money charging 2% to the deal originator while our service for the clients, investors, remain completely free. The market that we are in is currently valued at 3 billion euros and it's growing at a rapid pace of 50% year over year. And we know how to capture this market. We have already exceeded over 1 million euros in total platform investments. Last month we recorded close to 50% month over month growth. And where it gets really interesting is that we are still not doing almost any paid marketing. And this is where our clients come from. Over 50 countries. And you may wonder how two guys from Lithuania can capture 50 countries without spending any marketing. Well, the answer is simple. We have skin in the game. Together with Odris, we invest in the deals we provide. And we share the risk with our clients. And this is the team that's making this. Together with Odris, we have already three exits. Startup Wise Guys, our venture capital investor, have already invested before in one of my companies, and after I sold it, they were eager to work with me again. Together with advisors, we completed over 100 property developments and sold 15 million euros worth of it just in the last couple few years. We'll be opening around in a few months to raise 500,000 euros in seed funding. This will help us to reach 25 million euros of investments on our platform during the next year. Thank you. My name was Gusta, is Gustas, and this was Evo Estate. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have questions for Gustas and Evo Estate. Uh, hi, uh, thank you. C could, could you tell a bit about, uh, you know, it's just another aggregator. Do you do anything extra for your, for your clients, uh, curate something? Yeah, very good question. So, first of all, we have a legal framework and capacity to enable them invest where they couldn't, usually. This is the full list of the platforms we help, and half of them don't allow this. Second thing, we have very sophisticated risk scoring models driven by data, uh, which will help us to source deals and also uh, rank the platforms we work with. And most importantly, investments is all about liquidity. And most of the platforms do not have secondary markets where people can have liquidity. Our secondary market has already proven to be very liquid because half of the transactions are executed within 24 hours. Mike. Hi. Um, I think anyone, most of the time people involved in property are kind of evil um, because they're just, you know, scourges on the face of the earth, uh, taking housing away from poor people, uh, stuff like that. So given that, 
Um, you, you think you're sort of democratizing access to investment in property, correct? Yes. This assumes that the property market goes up. When, of course, tra President Trump is elected and we, the bubble bursts and we enter a global recession later this year or the beginning of next year, the property markets might go down. What then? This is a very good question as well. I know. <laughs> uh, this is exactly what makes U.S. State unique. If you look at individual platforms where we aggregate their deals from, usually they have one single model, which is commonly just fixed interest loans with real estate collateral. So developments and everything which is not cash flow investment is much more likely to default in the recession, and this was, will default. You're right. But what we do, we provide access to rent investments. So what does it mean? That you invest in a property and you get a share of that ownership, which generates you income. A lot of it is also short-term rentals, which is done on Airbnb. Tourism almost doesn't drop during the recession, and people are looking for cheaper alternatives compared to hotels. So we always, with Divo State, you can always have an edge. You can go for high-risk projects, but at the same time have hedge with cash flow investments. And how much does it take to invest? I mean, how much would I have to put into the platform as a base level? Just 50 euros. Minimum investment is just 50 euros. We are keeping the entry barriers low because we believe that everyone should have an access to these high, uh, so really good uh, deals. Okay, fair enough, thanks. Great, thank you very much, Gustas. Yeah.